from Farmington, the Camel Kid, Corey DeMatteo. Ambrose from the Papers, this is the one at, from Hasbro, for Tyler Lurie. In car number 76, in the Bulls, Chrysler Dodge Jeep car, the Ellington Express, Tom Bulls. First two Chevrolet Cadillac brings us car number 98. For Mike Zukowski, out of Madison, Long Island, New York. And making his debut, Clyde Farmer from East Hartford, in the Motor Motor Sports Bar, car number 51 for DJ Barnum. So there you have it. This is the fastest division of the night, the SK Modified, Stafford's All. One of the most talked about divisions of race cars in the country. Green flag is out. And on the outside lane, Glenn Reed. The color black looks formal. Out in front. And Reed going, going, gone. Reed is a car with the sizzle. As he takes the advantage, Tyler Hines is on the outside of David Arute. As they fireball their way down the front straightaway, Hines is on the verge of moving into second. There's no question about it. He is a man possessed, but look at Tyler Hines. He is not only in second, he isn't satisfied with being there. And then all of a sudden, Nick Salva, his luck has changed, and he is all of a sudden looking stronger than we've seen him in quite some time. Stephen Kopchick. He has some getting up on the inside lane, trying to move into the top four, and it looks like he will be able to do it. Back Alco trying to move up along with Cipriano, but nobody has an answer right now for Glenn Rain. As they work their magic off the turn, it is now Todd Owen who's showing a lot of potential. Owen works his way bottom of the top six. Owen, who switched to the back bumper of Salva, all of a sudden Kopsik looks racy. He's up to the top four. Top six setting in the fourth spot, further back. A little bit of a jingle mat. And that is where Eric Burke, last week's feature event winner, and Michael Jervis, the guy who runs up front of the points in. Running a strong fifth is Salmon. Trying to make a move. Steven Kopchik going downstairs, and he will blow his way underneath David Arute to move into third. Kopchik has a car that's hooked up tonight. That's the Oka machine. As it moves into the third spot. He is among the quickest cars. He is the quickest car in the race track. 19-2-2-1. Topsick running racy up front. Here comes Todd Owen. He's threading the needle through traffic. And with him is the number 78 machine. And that, of course, is Cipriano. With the Cipriano, 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 As he gave a little shot to the back bumper of that Cipriano car, here comes Mike Christopher. And he is able to tornate to tornado his way into the top seven. Topson continues to look racy and looks strong in that third position. Nobody looks stronger right now than Glenn Rain getting a little rambunctious. Is Steven Kopchik in the number 21 car looking for a way to crowbar his way underneath Tyler Hines? There's no question about it. He is all over the back of Tyler Hines. Now he looks to the inside. Pops it. Pulls off a bottom shot move. While that's happening, here comes Nick Salva. He tries to make the same move. Stephen Kopsik has now moved into the runner-up spot in the Hocon machine. There was one adjustment the crew of Nick Salva's car said they needed to make for him to be even better than he was last week. Apparently, they have made it. He is in the top five. Now the man with the bullseye on his backup bumper is Steven Kopchik. He is being pestered by Tyler Hines. There's no question about it. Hines is all over his back bumper. Now uh, all of a sudden look at Michael Christopher. He now moves underneath Todd Owen. Owen shakes him off like a dog who has fleas as he works his magic. Off the turn, all of a sudden they come back off turn number four. Fastest car on the racetrack is now Michael Christopher Jr with a 19.045. Where is he in all of this? He's in the seventh spot, Matt. And behind him, there's some side-by-side -side racing as well. Yeah, there is a frantic battle behind Mike Christopher, Michael Jarvis, and the number 33. And Tommy Howell is behind him. Yep. And opening up an advantage is Glenn Rain. He has driven a flawless first 12 laps. This is $250 on the line, and Glenn Wayne will pocket $250 from Kevin Harvick Enterprises 
Cooper leading lap number 13 and out of the tank, Christopher. There's no question about it. Now, meanwhile, keep your eyes on Michael Christopher. Tries to make the move down underneath Todd Owen. Christopher on the bottom forces Owen to relinquish the spot. And now Michael Christopher has picked up yet another position. Michael Christopher looks racy. Todd Owens, left front brake rotor is glowing. Out of front brake in that car to make a turn. That's what that's all about. But right now, Mike Christopher is trying to track down Nick Silva. That is a battle for fifth place. And Silva closing in on David Arute. David Arute has been in the top five all night long. Once again, Salvo's right there. But David Arute continues to run a great race. It's 16 laps now into the record book. David Arute says his car so far this year has been wicked fast. And I think that's a pretty good uh, term to describe Glenn Rain. The action is for fourth and fifth. As hammering on the back bumper of David Arood is Nick Salva, and he just can't find a way underneath the number 75 car. He is close. Meanwhile, Salva takes a peek at the inside of David Arood. Salva is all in underneath the 75 car, but he can't get the spot. And now Mike Christopher rolls on the outside. It is do or die time for Salva. Pick and choose time for Michael Christopher, David Arood has driven a flawless race on the outside of the racetrack. Here comes Todd Owen. He's back into the hunt here. And all of a sudden, Michael Jervis is not to be left out of the action. Michael Jervis, a point leader. Oh, double out. Christopher, El Chano is out of the action. That lead keeps expanding for Glenn Reed. Uh, leading uh, by six, seven, eight, uh, 0 0.678 seconds over an object that's more than a half a second. So let's see if Reed can dominate the second half of the race as easily as he did the first half. Refrano comes back out, but he falls by the wayside as Kopchik is able to get around him. And then it is Tyler Hines, who's been a top three car for most of the race. As they come off the turn now, they're going to be facing some lap traffic just in front of the leaders. Glenn Reed, by the rapid being chased by the dogs, he started up front, took the lead, and never looked back. Hopsick has been very, very racy and quick. He has found some magic in that brand new race car. And then... We go back to Salva. Michael Christopher has been all over him back, but Michael Christopher just doesn't have enough to get around. There are plenty of black and blue marks on the back bumper of Salva. Here comes Mike Christopher. Down has momentum. He is a quarter of the way there, oh. halfway there, three quarters of the way there. Can he complete the move? The answer is no. 24 of 40 now into the record books. Glenn Reed does not want to see any yellows. And all of a sudden, Moving in and closing up the gap ever so slightly. And now all of a sudden, it's a lap down the field, the Marcello Rafano car. But Glenn Reed is still in command. A little further back in the field, Christopher tried to get around Salva, but it just didn't work back. And he has tried everything except siphoning the gas out of Salva's tank and nothing has worked. Now we go to Glenn Rain, a clinic. The battle is for second as uh, Topchik is pulling away from Tyler Hines. And then we have Salva and Mike Christopher. So the order of the top five has not changed in a while. It certainly has not. There's less than 13 circuits remaining. Remember, the Marcello Rafano car had a problem earlier he is running with Kopsik of the racetrack, but that is not the position he is in. Otto Hines is your third place car. Salva is in fourth. Michael Christopher up to position number five. And now it appears that Salva is starting. Caution flag comes out. This is the caution. 
No, it's the 15 car of Jeff Malave that spun. So the Matador gets out exceptionally hard in this. This is a brand new race car for him. His dad, Nick, has uh, been working with him feverishly around the clock in the Hocon sponsored machine. So let's see what's going to happen as they are ready. Ready for and battle. Glenn Reen, one of the most versatile drivers in Stafford history, has one of the late models, one of the SK lights, won three times in the SKs. If it's won a tour race, but can he get a great start? Yes, he can. But will it be good enough to hold off Stephen Kopsik? Kopsik on the outside. Here comes Tyler Hines. Here comes Nick Salva. Here comes Michael Jervis. This is the year that Michael Jervis is starting to shine. Outside groove. They rumble off the turn. Kopsik is still settling back in the second. Tyler Hines, Hines is underneath him. There's Nick Salva right there in the middle of that mix, and here comes Michael Christopher. Salva, almost three really wide. He has a rocket, and now they come off the turn. They jingle and they jangle. But Tyler Hines has moved into second. Forcing, Topsick up the hill. Here comes Nick Salva. Ten circuits to go. And a bold move by Kopchik, and the yellow comes out, turn two. An incident involving Andrew Bowler and Tony Membrino Jr. And also the 78s of his game that Nick Salva was lacking was confidence. As a great crew, they all say they has a great car. They added uh, America's crew chief, Sash Butova, to help out that operation this year. And everything is connecting so far for the first 30 laps. Let's see what's going to happen. If it's all going to connect, we'll play. Connect the dot off turn number four. Ten circuits remaining in this one. There is the green. And Reed looks good on the green. And Popsick. He's got underneath Salva. So Owen fighting hard. They blister their way off the corner. Green is back in front. There's a scramble for third and fourth between Christopher and Hines. Thompson. Malave with that number 15 car. So Malave. the track right now and here yeah. 19.38 19.365 Michael Christopher is the quick guy and Tato and setting back in that fourth position Salva has to settle back So the lead is starting to disappear down to the final five. In third is Kopchik. In fourth is Owen. Salva continues to run in the number five position. And Mike Christopher trying to... They're running almost identical times, Ben, with four laps to go. They certainly are, Matt, and you continue to see the margin pretty much remaining the same. Car number 54 spins off turn number four with 36 up on the board. Boy, the plot thickens here. And down on pit road, we've got Troy Talman. A come from behind winner tonight in the limited late models. But who will win the modifieds? Now, Mike Christopher, he will be going eyeball to eyeball with Glenn Rain on this double file restart that could decide the winner. And not only that, Matt, the fastest lap of the race was Michael Christopher. Remember, where Michael Christopher started in this event was in the ninth position. Where Glenn Reen started was in the number two spot.
So let's see what's going to happen. This restart will change everything. Oh, look at the field. We had a spin, and uh, literally, from what we saw, one car. There's Matt Vassar on the safety road, the 51, the Burnham car. I think Moave also had some difficulty. Yes, it did appear. Okay, Mike Jervis. No, Jervis is still no, there. Well, one not. car did a complete uh, Marishikov, uh, uh, spun around like an airplane propeller, and a car just trampolined over it. So a uh, serious incident. And now we are ready to settle the issue between Glenn Rain, Mike Christopher, Stephen Kopchick, Todd Owen, as it has become time to get your game face on. Certainly is, of course. This is what it's all about. Coming down to the wire as they work off turn number four. 36 laps up on the board. Back to the stripe they come. And Christopher. He gets a jump on Reed, but they're not going to let it happen. Oh, boy. A little bit too rambunctious. False alarm. As Christopher got the advantage on the outside groove, but it will not count. He's a little bit pumped up. There's no question about that, Glenn Reed. No, but when that car is healthy, he is as good on the outside groove as anybody in this division. Certainly is. Keep your eyes also on that second row of Kopsik and Todd Owen, because it depends on the restart who gets the jump. And Owen has got the foam horn glued to the back bumper of Michael Christopher. And sparks will fly and tempers will flare. There is some Woody Woodpecker action to the back bumper of the rain car administered by Mike Christopher. Trying to create space down low. Here comes Mike Christopher. Not quick enough to corral the 17 to ring. Topsick now moves back into the third spot. Todd Owen changes his strategy. Meanwhile, they come off turn number four. Popsicle sticks are in the air. Two laps to go. Also moving in is Todd Owen in fourth. Trying to get under Kopchik. Did not happen. Leading the next group of cars is Michael Jarvis. Expanding his lead at the front of the field is Glenn Rain. When they hit the line, Glenn Rain will be one win away from his fourth SK modified win. Glenn Rain has him covered out in front. Literally pulling away. Back scramble further back in the field. We are going to stay under Green. Racing to the line. Check Here the is Green. Glenn Reed will dominate the racing action to lead from start to finish. Taking down the victory, Michael Christopher to finish in second. Opsic will finish in third. Todd Owen for fourth. Michael Jervis to finish in position number five. Try to find me a 